we're trying to figure it out. They almost look like they might be tumblers, but look, watch them start flipping. What you doing, bro? Watching the show? Yeah, I'm gonna just watch and hang out too. The ears are hilarious. All right, buddy. Don't fly too far. This is home, remember. All right, go back in. There you go, buddy. Right back <laughs> inside. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. As you guys know, if you guys have been following along here with the channel, we got racing pigeons, and the racing pigeons are doing absolutely amazing. They have been breeding up a storm. They have been having some offspring, and they've been nesting, doing their thing. So I think it's just about time to start letting them go. But we kind of have to fasten the process because of the fact of somehow one of my Iranian high flyers got out. And the way that it got out was this section right over here. Follow me right here you guys so on the top we have the soft bill uh netting and right here i found the hole and that hole right there most likely happened because of a rat or a squirrel came inside of here early morning whatever it was and found the corn and was starting to eat the corn inside of here so that bird figured its way out so now we cannot get this bird back inside because we have our trap door completely blocked off so that they've been training and learning how to use that platform right there all the birds have been using the platform very very well I keep it open with one little piece of metal so that they come out and they have to push their way in so they've all been learning very well um so what i'm gonna have to do is i am going to cut this whole entire gate door off keep it to the side because we can still use it just in case if we need so and i'm gonna get some of the older birds that i have inside of here and release them out with the high flyer that's right there as you see and have them all go right back in and if you guys see in the distance, right over there, there's a bird right there with the spots on its chest. I don't know if you can see her, come on this side. Right there with that red shoulder, that first one to the right, down right there is actually one of the offspring, right next to that black saddleback of one of our birds. Pretty awesome. So that's a new racer here on the ranch. Really, really, really awesome. We also have some babies inside there too. And we have a couple others that are doing very well. But we're gonna cut this thing off, grab a couple birds, throw them out, and then he should figure his way right back in. So we're starting to get the process going so the birds start learning their area and start mapping the ranch so that we can start bringing them to farther distances. So let's open this thing up. Um, God, win. All right, that was a tight one right there. All right, here we go. Uh, cutting it all off. I think the birds are more than ready to go. We haven't seen too many birds of prey either for a little while, so that's de definitely a good thing. Except I just saw that kite that just flew by, but those really are not gonna be eating birds in that way. All right. Watch out, Center. Oh, oh. Where's she going? I don't know. She's, fine. She's just learning the area, mapping around, see? He's like, what's going on? He's doing really good. We're gonna fly right back in. It's all right, buddy. So that's really good. I've never actually flown that bird before. Even when I got him first, I was nervous that he was gonna go too far. He's getting a little spooked right now. Let me get this last. One, two, three. Ah. One, two, three. Got it. All right. Woo. All right. The trap door is completely off. This bird now is able 100% to fly in to this door because of this right here. Let it fly. Absolutely amazing. There he goes, doing good. All right, so I'm gonna go inside real quick, grab a few birds, grab these zip ties off, and grab a few birds that have been here for a little while and uh, show them that the door is open. So let's do that real quick. Let me grab a couple birds. All right, so we have an owl right here. This owl knows how to come in and out, no problem. So we'll let her stay right there. We'll let him stay right there. He'll fly around, do his thing. He'll jump right back in with no problem. Let's grab another bird that I know, knows the area very well. Let me grab him real quick. No, I'm gonna probably grab the other uh, high flyer. All right, other high flyer. Where's that one at? Right here. Woo! Look at that gorgeous bird. Trying to figure it out. They almost look like they might be tumblers, but look, watch them start flipping. He's trying to figure it all out. Bring her in his area. It's all good, it's all good. All right, let's add another bird out. I know the bird of choice that's coming out in just a second. This one right here, this little, this race right here is absolute beast. If we can get him up, he's a real good bird to fly. Come on. 
All right, so what actually I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up one of the trap doors so they know how to go in and out on their own. So watch this, look, he's trying to get out right now. We have two trap doors. I'm just gonna have to close them out later. So that door is open right there now. So realistically, any bird could fly out. Let's get away. All right, so we should let the birds fly for right now. Let's see what happens. We got the guinea fowl on the top. Really guinea fowl on the top. Being freaking crazy alone clock in here. I don't know what they're doing. Benny's checking everybody out. All right, so we're gonna back up two steps. And let the birds figure it all out. Oh look, the high fly is all the way over there on the roof. She's trying to figure it out right now. See him over there? She's like, what's going on? How do I get back over here? This is her first time out of the coop. She's never flew on our property before. But her boyfriend over there uh, obviously knows what's going on. So I would expect she does too. She's taking a breather, taking a chance. You know, they've been inside this coop. So their, their stamina is not going to be strong like mine. So they need to, you know, run a little more. Just like me. But uh, they're doing good. I'm going to move this cage out of the way. So the emus and the cows and everybody don't get beat up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We got a saddle out. Now it's going right back in. All right, let's, let, let's see what happens. But they know that platform very well. Just back that's, up. So that's exactly what we want. That saddle right now is completely oh. out and right back in. It's exactly what we want right there. They're completely training. They have no idea that was... cage is off right now. That's exactly what we wanted. What the oh. heck was that? Look. What Two are... ravens just came in. Three ravens. All right. Those guys bother us. They, they're a pain in the butt because they're not, you know, birds of prey that are going to attack. But what they can do is be a pain in the butt and be nosy and try to harass these birds. Uh oh, here we go. She's like, I'm getting back home. And the guineas are too. Yeah, the guineas are harassing right now too. They're being a pain in the butt a little bit. But at least the pigeons are kind of used to it. All right, she's sure going to figure it out. Going back in. All right. You see what she's doing? That right there is mapping in their brain. Circle, fly, take a picture, fly back. Taking picture of their home right here. She'll be back in just a few minutes. Oh my God. We'll have it. The guineas are next to the picture. Bro, the guineas are a pain in the butt. But at the end of the day, the guineas are kind of good too. It's more eyes in the air to make sure there's no predators coming. But um, at least they're all used to each other. All right, I need to go back in. I'm going to grab that other one again. I want to get that young bird out to fly her right here to her thing. Because she was born here on the ranch. So at this age, she's ready to start flying. She's already left the nest. She's ready to go. Uh-oh, we got a female out. We got a black out. Oh, oh wow. That the, is scary. The Iranian came back in. It went back in? Yeah. Look, the owl's coming down. Oh, the owl's figuring it out. See? That's what you need. Check that out, you guys. I don't know if those birds... I don't want to spook them. I want them just to walk right back in. But they are out of their house right now. That is a big step. Those guineas might scare them. I'm not too sure. Uh-oh. Black saddles up top. The big male. That thing looks absolutely beautiful outside, though. The Iranian came onto the barn. Oh, this one over here? Yeah. Oh, I thought you went back into the barn, inside the building. No, on I'm top. like, I didn't see it. All right. They're figuring it all out. Very, very good day for them to be flying as well because there's not a lot of wind. They don't have to tire out to fight that wind, so it's a perfect day to fly. That bird to actually come out. All right. Look, look. The blue saddle just went right back in. You still have that one out. All right. They're doing good. What you doing, bro? Watching the show? Yeah, I'm going to just watch and hang out, too. The emus are hilarious. All right. They, they need to stop. The guineas are just, just singing over here. They're just going. The males are one to the left. Two girls are to the right. You guys want guineas? That's what they do all day long. I don't know what's going on right now, but I think the guineas are trying to learn the trapdoor as well. And I guarantee I'm going to come here one day and one of the guineas is going to be stuck inside of the pigeon loft. Look at them bouncing around over here and they're going on the platform. They're going to learn how to bloop, plop right in. They really want to get that pigeon food. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where's she going? Where's she going? Oh, she's going farther. All right. See you later. Peace out, buddy. Oh, Circle around. Come back around. And land in <laughs> circle. Oh, uh, look at the black saddle. Woo! She just took his first little flight. He said, woohoo. It's the first time that bird has been out. He let himself out, right? Yeah. Oh, the other side of the roof. The big birds. So I don't think he can fly too good right now. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's like, oh, I can't see oh, the loft. And the weird vulture. <laughs> Oh my god, the vulturine on the other side too. 
a lot of a lot of things are going on right now, you guys. A lot of things are going on. This is really really funny. Oh, having, oh he's having, coming over the ledge. Okay, good. No, no, I'm at the guinea uh, filter thing. Oh my god, <laughs> that thing looks like a freaking dinosaur, bro. It's like mute. He's like, yo, what's going on over here? Let me go check out the guineas. Oh crap, you might try to attack the pigeons. No, no, we're good. We're good. Look at this guy, bro. What are you doing? Look at this thing. So that's not a full vulturine. It's actually a hybrid with a normal purple guinea fowl with a vulturine. So it's actually a sterile bird. But uh, oh my god, bro. Are you serious? You just want to be a bully. Just want to be a bully. It's always a show here. If you just see it for hours, it's just a show. What is he doing? I don't know. I think he's just trying to rip up the gauge. Maybe he's the one that made the freaking hole. Oh, all the traps are fell now. So no birds are able to come out anymore. They're only able to go back in. Go fly back down. Fly back down. There you go. Goodbye. Yeah, get out of here, bro. Oh, that one went back in. Good. Let's do that. I don't want to fly. Oh, look. Look. The other Iranian. Back on the thing. All right, here we go. We got the owl back out. Owl's over. Oh, right back in. Good. And that one's still far over there, but it's all right. All right, we're going to let the owl go. Hey, buddy, you're a good birdie. You know what I mean? You always figure it out back in. You teach everybody for me. Lazy, lazy bird. They're looking right back. Right back in. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not I'm built not, for I'm this. Not, I'm not good for this. The black saddle go back in? Oh, oh. no, he's up there. The other one's all the way down there. It's the first time out, like I said, so I don't know how long the other Iranian's been out flying around this morning for. Remember, the whole idea of this loft is to actually do this. We have this door right here. We open this door up, shoo all the birds out, close this door back up. They know this platform, how it works, and they can walk right back in. So maybe that's what we'll do. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. All ready? Yeah, why not? Just try. Oh, hey. Who's that? Black Saddle? Come back. This is the one that was born here on the ranch. Absolutely beautiful bird right here. All right, buddy. Don't fly too far. This is home, remember. All right, go back in. There you go, buddy. Right back <laughs> inside. Was that good or what? Chicken! Oh, get the chicken out. Chicken! You're not allowed to be in there, buddy. Get out, chicken. Freaking white leg horn. Did you see that bird? It went... <laughs> I'm not leaving this house. <laughs> oh, we're back in. They don't under, They don't know the big door's open. No, they don't. Be careful though, because the guineas could fly back in. Yeah, the guineas can go right in after. Oh, look, the young one. The young ones came back to the door. I said, wait. I went back in way too fast. Maybe I could go back out. All right, so we're just gonna let the door open for a few hours. Uh, we have nothing to do today, so we're just gonna, you know, do our thing. Let them do their thing. We'll come back to you guys uh, after I'm done feeding. All right, so the birds are really moving, you guys. There's a lot of them out right now. Almost the whole entire flock is out walking around on top of the goat barn. We have a few on the floor walking around. They're learning how to fly. They're figuring everything out, and they're doing really good. We got a big brown or uh, red saddle on the floor. Right oh, my goodness gracious. So something flew by. I'm not 100% sure what it was. I really think it was just those cattle egrets that spooked the pigeons. Obviously, as you guys know, it's the first day out. So a lot of little things are going to spook them out. But again, what I said earlier in this video is a plus that it's not too windy out. So the birds are able to not fight the wind so hard and they're able to get back to the loft quicker. So we closed up this door right here. So it's closed up. And the only way they're able to go back in is through this platform to go into their door. And once they're in, everybody's in and they're done. There's a couple birds that are missing. They're probably nervous in a tree or something of some sort, but in a few minutes, once they catch their air, they'll fly back. That one over there on the top of the peak of the house over there has been a bird that actually we flew a little too early about four months ago. And when we did that, that bird was gone for a week. Randomly popped right back up, figured its way back home and is good. So I trust that bird very well now. And that's a really nice racer. And I guarantee if I let that bird go far, He'll figure his way back home because that day when he left, thing took off and it was a windy day. He's good. He's over there. Some of the other birds are up here just hanging out, doing their thing. And the rest are inside of their house, relaxing, cooling down. Like I said, door is placed, trap door is placed. Now they just all need to start getting themselves back in. Tomorrow we'll do the same exact thing once everybody's back inside the loft. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. This is day one of our first flight that was not really planned to do but it just turned out to happen a little sooner than possible because we had a rat get inside of the uh, loft and the bird got out so we needed to get that bird back in and luckily that bird that got out is right there and he's like yep 
I'm back in. I'm staying in now. Pretty awesome. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Put your post notifications on. If you guys like these kind of videos of flying our pigeons, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And uh, we'll do it again very soon.